thing actually is it's called Why I'm a YouTuber Challenge. Now, this technically isn't really a reacting to anything. I did actually watch Stonix. If you guys want to check his channel, definitely go ahead. It's S-T-O-N-I-X. Um, his channel will also be in the description below. Uh, he took this, he actually started this challenge, if I'm not mistaken, and he asked me to do it, and I feel bad because, to be honest, I, uh, I haven't done it, and it's been a while. I kind of feel bad, you know, uh, he is a part-timer YouTuber, he's not a full-time YouTuber. He's definitely young, so he's got a lot of time to build his channel. That's what he believes, and I, I agree with him, you know, when you're his age, still in high school, or even younger... You easily got like 30 years to do something with your channel, you know, and um, yeah, but I digress. Uh, I guess the question is for me, why I'm a YouTuber? Uh, actually, I originally started in, in 2006 and how it started was I watched a video and, and I cannot even remember what the video is called, but this is how I got started. I left a comment because when people make music videos, fan-made music videos of like, they'll take their favorite anime, right? And they'll take a cool song. And all they did is they took the whole clip of the video of the anime, did barely edit it. Like they'll take a minute from a fight scene, another 30 seconds from another scene. And then they'll just put their favorite track on it, right? So the, the music doesn't even go with the anime. It's just... Like as if you were watching the anime show in your living room, right, with, with music going. So I simply left a comment saying, like, I just think the editing could be better. And somebody, I don't know if it was him or who, but they're like, I don't see you doing any music videos. So then I was like, I'm going to prove this bitch wrong because I love video editing. If you guys don't know that, like, I'm a huge video editor. So I went ahead and made an amazing video. It's actually on my old YouTube channel. And it was so good that the creator, or not the creators, because what I used, um, I used Dark Watch. Those of you who don't know, as a vampire uh, western type of game, and Blood Rain as the video clips. But I used uh, Love Crave. They were an Italian kind of heavy rock metal band in Italy. And during the time, they were the number one band in Italy. Like, no joke. They were on the top of their game. Uh, from now, I know that she's pretty much retired and just does like daycare or something like but the point is is the video was so popular they got a hold of it they found it they contacted me they gave me an autograph cd and everything they put that video on their website forever i don't know if their website is still there i i don't really follow them anymore like i said the band's kind of done but i proved my point just that's why i became a youtuber was just to prove a point that's honestly really the uh the short version as to why i became it now, why I've been hitting it harder, uh, everything else has pretty much failed in my life. I've tried music for many years, didn't really go anywhere. Um, I'm actually a really good writer too, but I never uh, pursued it. Instead, I thought music's better because I'll, you know, I'll get popular, right, or get known, and then I'll, I'll write a book and people will just read it because it's, you know, this band guy's book. You know, it's kind of like famous movie actors. Anyone that's famous, if they make a book, people don't, they don't judge a book by a cover. They judge the book by the author, you know, at, at that type of, that was kind of the approach I was going with. Um, didn't work out, obviously. And then the next thing was the, after the music, that just failed. And then I decided, you know what? I don't want to rely on people. And that's what happened with music. Like, I always had to rely on people. Every single time. To make a band, you got to have multiple people. They got to show up to practice, right? They got to remember, you know, all the responsibilities of being a real musician. They, at least everyone I worked with, had the mentality of, eh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to it next week. And next week became never. They're all gone now. Like, in the end, I threw it all away. I said, you know what? I'm done. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm sick of being the leader that just gets screwed with people. You know, the, some people are like, oh, I can't drive because I don't have gas. Well, then I was the one who was like, you know what? I'll give you $5 to get your ass over here. Like, we got to do this. We got, I got good feelings about this.
but I, I threw it all away. I said, screw it, I'm done. I just destroyed, I just disbanded and just left and never looked back. The music, I did make some tracks. If you guys are interested, I'll definitely show them to you guys. You guys can download them. I don't really care. But the one song alone took number one in the underground website in um, the state I live in. And then when it did worldwide, like they actually took it and went against the whole country, like uh, the world. It's it scored for number fourteen, and that was out of what the hell was it like like twenty thousand bands or something that submitted their best song, and it wasn't even studio digitally mastered yet. I did the best I could to make it sound as good, but you could tell it wasn't like shitty. You know, you have an audio tape recorder. It was legit enough to listen to. But that just shows you that, like, nobody cared. So I digress. I'm just sick of relying on people. With YouTube, you know who's going to make it or break it? Me. And you know what? I have determination, which <laughs> I know it's probably a pun from Undertale at this point, but determination does actually win all. Like, it makes sense the more I... That's why I like that game, and I've been watching some of the animes out there. It shows a fan-made art, you know, in videos. Determination is it, because you can be the shittiest whatever, but determination is going to do it. I didn't have the determination as far as uh, being a team, or should I say they didn't have it, because I kept running into people that just didn't have it. They had fear, they had other things, doubts, they had in the moment some of them of course thought they were gonna get chicks and laid like they just didn't have their mind right i have been had my mind right for a long time so that's why i'm a youtuber uh i guess the next person here to nominate why i'm a youtuber i'm gonna go with luig from the ultimate diamond i know you're watching the stream right now i want you to take the why i'm a youtuber challenge uh please definitely post it in stonics page when you're done with it it'll make him feel good to know that i actually finally got off my ass and took the challenge and i'm passing it on so that's one person right there and uh i'm gonna say uh, actual bias trash okay actual it looks like you just walked into the youtuber challenge i'm gonna nominate you as well and who else can i do 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 i'm gonna nominate my buddy zero from hawaii He's definitely a cool cat as well. Uh, Zero Hyper Gaming. You guys need to take that challenge. And maybe I'll throw in Michelle Hawk too. Why not? Just because I, not everyone takes the challenge, right? So, anyways. I want to share this bad boy with the world. And we're going to get back to some reactions. But I want to get this in for you, Stonics. I'm so sorry. I just, I saw a squirrel. And I forgot. <laughs> so, there's my cheesy, uh joke for the day there once again thanks thanks for making this challenge and i i, I want to see it go somewhere too i'm kind of curious so i'll talk to you later buddy whoosh